cut! Somebody cut! SOMEBODY FUCKING CUT! Oh. Oh, hey guys. Fury on here. You may know me from the many montages I have made. Anyway, I'm here today to bring to you the guide to making a Halo 3 montage. And yes, I know, this may sound a lot like Digital Fear's guide to making a Halo 3 machinima, and some of you may be thinking, what the fuck is this guy to go and copy Digital Fear? But I assure you, in making a montage and making a machinima, they're quite different. Making a machinima involves setting up scenes so that they play out in a theatrical manner, and in a montage you don't set up anything, unless you're gay. It's pure skill, or luck, whatever you want to call it. A montage, by Halo 3 definition, is basically an arrangement of the footage you have gotten over a period of time. For many montages, people will spend months acquiring the proper gameplay. And sometimes that is what it takes to get enough rape footage to make a whole montage. So, now that you know what a montage is, we'll start the show. This episode is the first of a few. In it, I will discuss the first step to making a montage. The footage, or clips if you will. Let's head up to the theater room where I will show you examples of some good clips and some bad clips. Now, there's tons of different kinds of footage that can be used in a montage. Pretty much any matchmaking plays, for example. However, there are a few you'll want to avoid. I would suggest don't use any clips from Griff Ball or Zombies. However, if you want, go ahead and make the montage you want to make. It's just not recommended from my experience. The next thing I go over is custom games. Cu custom. What the fuck? Uh. Anyways, as I was saying, custom games. The most common types of custom games found in montages are MLG custom games, Major League Gaming, or Battle Rival Start. Uh, maps are changed up a bit. The clip that is playing is a clip from the MLG playlist in matchmaking, but it is essentially the same thing as a clip in an MLG custom game. MLG clips are most appreciated by the more competitive Halo community, those who play the game to get better and to prove themselves to other Halo players. So for montages, MLG clips would be recommended. Now, with that said, other types of custom games like Sniper Free For Alls I would not recommend a whole lot of. This clip is in a Sniper Free For All and I think it could be montage material, mainly because I have no shields and still manage to pull off an overkill. As far as social games go, so far the montage community has not so much enjoyed watching social clips and montages. I personally don't mind seeing a guest or two, but when there's people standing around not even moving, it kind of ruins the clip. For example, in the following clip, a few players are just standing around, not moving much, kind of ruins it for our experience. One of the largest playlists seen in montages is multi-team. Although it is widely played, it is not recommended unless the clip is of high caliber. The clip you are watching I would consider okay to put in a montage. This next clip is in a ranked playlist, Double Team. Ranked playlists are good to get clips in because it takes more skill to own the other team when they are trying harder to win. This clip is cool because even though there are only two people on the other team, I managed to spawn camp and pick up a triple kill, but we will get back to spawn camping later. Okay, so let's go over what we've covered so far. Griff Ball and Zombies, MLG Playlist and Customs, social game types, and rank game types. Don't forget, this is your montage and you should make it how you want it. I don't want to suppress any creativity you guys might have. Now, on to specifics. We are now going to deal with the quality of clips. What's good? Triple kills? Overkills? I think that the following are the main highlights in a clip. Multiple people taken down with one bullet, be it a laser or a sniper. Sniper shots that bounce off the ground or wall, also known as a bank shot or ricochet. Sticks. If you are using a single kill stick, be wary of those that have been seen. Many sticks have been redone and they just get old after a while. Try to be innovative with your sticky ideas. Other things that are ideal are sticking someone for a high multi-kill or in the middle of said multi-kill, like the playing clip. Not to get off my point here, multi-kills. Multi-kills are probably some of the most appreciated clips in montages. However, I don't think a killtacular all shotgun kills is extremely soothing, considering it doesn't take much skill to wield a shotgun. But that's just my personal opinion. But multi-kills, including six sniper shots, sticks, or anything cool and or different, are definitely recommended. Now, onto laser kills. The next two clips are set up to give you an example. Getting two guys with one laser can be a cool clip. 
just make sure that the people you get with the double laser aren't completely clumped up like idiots. <laughs> See what I mean? Laser clips are more enjoyable when they are farther apart, as in this next clip. Now, I'm not saying set up things for your montage, this is just an example. Let's say it were to actually happen in a real game, you shoot a laser shot and you accidentally get someone across map and someone right in front of you, that's incredible. Definitely use that for a montage. Let's go over what we've covered for specifics. Multiple opponents with one shot, Sticks, sticks in multi kills, shotgun kills, anything unique, and laser kills. Okay, let's move on to the training grounds where I will teach you some tips on how to get clips. Alright, guys, welcome to the training grounds. I'm going to teach you some basic tips on how to improve the probability of getting a good clip. Now, in getting a good clip, sometimes luck is involved to be in the right place at the right time. However, if you put yourself there purposely, it doesn't make it so much luck as it does skill and knowledge of the game. The main idea of this would be spawn camping. We're going to use the pit as an example since we're already here. Come with me. Alright, let me switch up your view so you can see what I'm seeing. Basically, start with observing the most common spawn points on the maps you play most often. On the pit, I've done that for you already. There spawns at the corner by Sniper Tower, up above in the secret room, but this is only in matchmaking, not in MLG, in the back hallway, Mauler Shotgun spawn, the platform, the green box, and inside in the back of the base. If watching spawns becomes too hard or tedious, try to observe common places where enemies may be, such as power weapon locations or power up locations. Now, these locations may be dangerous, but it's also more likely to get a clip when there are more people around for that chance to happen. You have to make it happen by being clutch, pulling off six stuff with the sniper, battle rifle, grenades, whatever your weapon of choice may be. Nading rocket spawn in the beginning of a game is a smart tactic. Nading any common place where people rush in the very beginning of the game to get a hold of the power weapons. See, then you have an advantage of starting out strong, getting a power weapon, taking control of the game. Another thing that helps is learning and picking up cool little jumps or tricks, places to hide in your no shields, duck down, like this cool little jump here on the pit. Watch some gameplays from some pros, figure all that stuff out, and you're well on your way. Game over. Alright guys, thanks for watching the first episode of Furion's Guide to Making a Halo 3 Montage. I hope this helps some of you out there and maybe answered a question or two. I'm going to leave you with a little piece of advice. In the end, it doesn't matter if you have the best clips in the world. If you get done and you're happy with what you've made, that you just made a montage, that's great. Just don't expect other people to love it as much as you do. Peace.